यूनिट फोर वाटर क्वालिटी चैप्टर थ्री वाटर पॉल्यूशन इट्स कॉजेस इफेक्ट एंड रेमेडीज चिल्ड्रेन एज वी नो ह्यूमन्स हैव बीन यूजिंग वेरियस नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस फॉर वेरियस पर्पसेस सो कंसिडरिंग दिस अवेलेबल नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस एट प्रेजेंट देर आर मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर बीन क्रिएटेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स ओके so now let's see which are the different problems which are been uh, which the human beings have to face today okay so the first one is water pollution now water pollution means what the natural quality of the water changes directly or indirectly due to human action or it can be due to uh, any other causes and um, and hence the water is not used for any purpose or neither it can be used for drinking so that is called as water pollution now there are various pollutants which are present in the water which makes the water polluted so the the pollutants are what are pollutants those are the useless solid liquid or gaseous waste substances okay that get mixed with the natural water now let's see which are the sources of water pollutants now water pollution is caused either by natural processes or it can be also by human actions okay so there are two sources of water pollutants one is natural other one is the human now first household discharge household discharge could be now household discharge could be any a uh, water coming from the safety tank it can be water coming from the toilets from uh uh any waste excretion okay it can be any household discharge which gets uh mixed with natural water okay then substances from industrial premises now there are substances like oil grease which have been released from washing vehicles and this uh substances they get mixed with water then next is agricultural factors like pesticides uh, chemical fertilizers which are given to the crops okay now these all pesticides fertilizers they get mixed with the river water okay due to excess the water gets polluted then sewage that is the waste water then minerals and chemical waste is coming out from the factory uh then also they can be sewage sludge and watershed sludge okay even hot water which is released after processing in the factory boiler so all these are the sources of water pollutants now <clears throat> there are various diseases which are caused by aquatic microorganisms due to pollution of water there are various pathogenic microorganisms which causes dysentery then they causes typhoid cholera jaundice malaria and all such diseases are been caused due to the pollution of water next marine oil spills and environmental pollution now we know there are various mineral oil reservoirs in the sea and they are brought to the surface now in such cases oil spill in the sea due to human error while oil is traded from gulf to other countries the ships crash and millions of tons of oil spill on the water so when this oil reaches the coastal area it causes a lot of damage to the environment so what happened when there is when the oil is been traded from gulf countries to the other countries what happened they are transported with the help of ships so sometimes what happened the ships great Uh, gets crash okay they gets collided okay so what happened there are million there are various million tons of oil which is present on the ship so what happened it spills down into the sea water and it causes damage to the sea now <coughs> this oil spills can also uh, oil spill caused by ship breaks then spill over in the coastal area due to high tides and strong winds all that time there is a lot of damage to the aquatic life on the beach due to that okay it causes harm to oysters those uh, sticking to the rocks on the shore harm then animals like crabs that live in the burrows also 
die they can't breathe because of the oil sticking to their bodies so hence they die <coughs> then oil spills also affect mangroves okay now mangroves are the plants which grows into the water okay now the roots of this mangroves are on the ground okay once the oil coats on the roots then the biological breathing process by the root stops and therefore the mangroves dry up because they cannot uh, take uh, they cannot breathe there is no process of carbon dioxide and oxygen going in the plant because this oil blocks this process now due to the oil layer on the leaves the leaves turns yellow and then again they fall off now even birds are most affected now what happens we know the birds have a very natural thin uh, now we know birds are very delicate their wings had a thin natural oil layer so that the water does not stick on them but when the birds come in contact with the spill oil okay the oil quickly penetrates into the wings it quickly get absorbed into the wings which affects its function and it makes impossible for the birds to fly therefore they cannot fly because they become heavy and when they become heavy they drown into the sea then next lakes water reservoirs and their pollution first is lakes in the past lakes existed according to the availability of water in each village some towns were famous for lake but now today the the scenario is change you can see that the water in the village or in the city is contaminated by mixing with the waste water in some religious occasions people leave oil lamps then even they they there is a immersion of uh, idols okay so everything takes place in this uh, in this uh, <coughs> pond or in this lake so which contaminates the water the oil affects the eggs of the fishes the eggs are destroyed so here they are again destroyed to the fishes and its cycle also some substances are added to the fish as food so their decomposition increase this the amount of carbon dioxide in lake water and hence the aquatic life also gets affected now living things also die because they do not get enough oxygen the process of decomposition in water produces hydrogen sulfide gas which results in a very bad odor in the water now increasing urbanization has led to the addition of waste to the lakes then reduces the size of the lakes in some village the whole lake themselves have been destroyed either by buildings or you can see the lakes have been destroyed and it is been covered with the soil and grounds have been formed then wetlands <coughs> now many a times we have seen that uh, wetlands uh, are the lands where their plants grow okay when the plants grow in the wetlands birds are the uh, birds uh, migrate to those places okay now we have seen many a times that it has become extinct nowadays that is they have become extinct due to the enrichment of structures on the wetlands and the mixed sewage okay due to the waste polluted water the plants cannot survive and therefore it is getting extinct day by day a variety of birds are found in the wetlands wetlands are also home to various birds okay the central government has issued laws and guidelines for the prevention and control of pollution some laws have been enacted for this purposes so now let us just uh, have a look over these laws first is water pollution prevention and control act of 1974 now this act laid down some guidelines for determining the quality of water and water pollution so the first uh, feature of water pollution act is prevention and control of water pollution then second is water conservation or water restoration and the last one is establishment of boards for prevention and control of water pollution so there are various there are various departments which have been set up at central level as well as at state government level 
okay for the implementation of this laws we can look over to the um, <coughs> control of pollution of water now functions of maharashtra pollution control board so first is planning of various programs for prevention of pollution and how to control it then inspection of waste water industrial water how the recycling takes place how the waste is disposed all this comes under this then cooperation and promotion of eco friendly program should be adopted like pollution control reusing and recycling of waste materials then there should be uh, new guidelines and there should be proper education to the new entrepreneurs by explaining appropriate technology and the method which will help them to reduce the uh, or which may help them to control the pollution then uh, there should be awareness created among the people for a clean and healthy environment as well as uh, to address the pollution related complaints powers of maharashtra pollution control board first enforcement of environment act and pollution control act then second determining pollution standards and their compliance third monitoring and controlling all the sources of pollution fourth to fulfill the legal requirements by giving instructions within the prescribed period fifth resolving worrying cases violating pollution regulation and the last to sue in a court of law in matter of concern so with this i have completed a chapter for your exercise you have to complete all the three first three questions the fourth one is omitted thank you